and then the physiology and all the stuff that I most likely forgot from first year. So that's good that I can just use that to review. Hello YouTube, it's been a while since I've vlogged at home and showed my study habits and updated you guys with the school year. I have started uh, my second year of medical school. I already had my first exam of the year, which is my first module. So second year is more um, clinical based and it's systems based. So each exam, it's further spaced apart. Unlike first year where we have an exam like every other week or whatever, we kind of have a, an exam like every three weeks to four weeks, like every month kind of. And each of these exams focus on one uh, organ system. So our first exam was dermatology, rheumatology, and immunology, which is not just one organ system, obviously, but that was just the first exam. But the second exam is um, respiratory system. So it'll be all of the microbiology associated with the diseases that affect the respiratory system, the pathology, the pharmacology, um, and the patient treatment management. So that's all going to be in one exam. So there's actually two exams, which one includes pharmacology, um, pathology, and uh, am I drawing a blank? Microbiology. <laughs> So it includes all of that and then the second exam it's called clinical systems and it's the same um, organ system so it'll be respiratory but then it'll be more of the patient management aspect of that. So we have one day where we have two exams, same topics but different um, science topics within those diseases in that uh, organ system. So a total of four hours of exams when I do have exams which is a lot but it's much better because my um exam schedule is more spread out so i would kind of rather that and since i'm doing a uh, more clinical based and organ based systems i've changed up my study habits as well i'm still using some of my old study habits but i've added some other things to help me better streamline my information because it's a lot of information and um, a lot of this, these topics are gonna be relevant for my boards, which I'm taking next year in the spring semester. So I have to make sure that I'm actually retaining this information and organizing, organizing it into my head so that when boards time comes around, I'm not just like relearning every single concept. So I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I've been studying for second year and also helping to build upon my boards knowledge. Okay. So for one, so I'm not going to watch any lectures, but after I write down everything into my notebook, which I'm going to show you later, I'm going to add information, like additional information that wasn't in either of these resources that are in my PowerPoints to my notebook so that I don't miss anything that my uh, professor wants me to know. So for one, I use Firecracker and um, I go to an osteopathic medical school, so I'll be taking the COMLEX exam, level one, but I'm also taking step one, um, which every MD student takes. Um, but all of the information is the same for both, both exams, except the um, osteopathic manipulative techniques information and all that uh, information. But um, so, what first aid does is <clears throat> has all of your basic sciences like anatomy, um, behavioral medicine, biochemistry, immunology, pathology, and you can like click like microbiology and you see bacteria and it'll list like all of the bacteria and list all of the pertinent information for that bacteria, even show you a picture of something. And a lot of their sources comes from first aid, which is basically like the Bible for step one board exam. So you can like click this tag here and it'll show you some relevant research articles. Um, or you can click this and then it'll state where that is found in um, the first aid 
book. So right now I'm doing respiratory, like I said. So today I'm going to focus on pulmonology. So when you go to pulmonology, you get the pathology, and then this is like a list of all of the high yield diseases that they're going to ask you. Um, pneumonia, um, cancers of the lung, pneumothorax. They also have the pharmacology um, related to the respiratory system, which is really good. Antihistamines, beta agonists, and then the physiology. And all this stuff that I most likely forgot from first year. So that's good that I can just use that to review a lot of the information because um, first year just like jumps right in and we're not gonna like be able to like review things that we learned in first year because we were supposed to have mastered that. But obviously, you know, due to the cramming process, just due to all the information overload that we got in first year, um, Remembering every single thing is kind of impossible. So it's good that I have it all right here and I don't really have to like go back to my notes from first year because that's a lot of notes. And then there's obviously going to be some extra fluff that I probably don't need to know for right now or for the boards. So that's really good. So that's one um, resource that I use heavily. And Firecracker also has... Um, like simulation exams for step one, complex one, for your shelf exams. Um, and it's like space repetition. So I haven't been doing that lately, but um, it's really just like open-ended questions. Like what is the first line diagnostic test for melanoma? So it's kind of like you either know it or you don't. So that really helps. And then I forgot. So excision biopsy so then it asks you how well do you know it and I would say um, now that I know it now excision biopsy I mean yeah that's pretty kind of obvious ish so I'll just say two so rating it on at two allows allows a shorter interval for that question to pop up again so the more people the more times that you see it, um, the more it's going to stick in your memory. And then if you really know it, it'll show up maybe like a few days from now because you know the question really well. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why there is this workout book. I never use that. Anyway, um, so this is the Kindle app for my computer. I also bought the First Aid Basic Sciences, which goes by Organ Systems. And this has been really helpful since my school is going by organ system, so it really helps to um, put all the high yield information all in one place, which I like. And we're doing respiratory, so going to click respiratory. And as you can see in table of contents, has the embryology, anatomy, histology, physiology, pathology, and pharmacology related to the respiratory system. And from there, so all the embryo stuff, histology, physiology, and pharmacology, which is pretty good, pathology. And so right there, that's where they'll give you all of the diseases that you need to know and um, yeah, all of that relevant info. So my plan is to review the basic stuff from like first year that I was supposed to know using um, Firecracker and then come to organ systems and start to write down all of my information from first aid organ systems and then go to my um, PowerPoints from my lectures because I'm not gonna watch any lectures Okay, so this is the Everlast Rocket Book Notebook, and it's a reusable notebook that allows you to write in um, gel ink or marker, which I love writing in marker. That helps me memorize lots of things, and I write in different colors so that um, my thoughts are separated in my mind when I see them on the page. So these are some of my notes from the first exam. 
and uh, see. so these are the Frixion markers that I use and these are erasable and these are the pens um, I think there's okay there's 32 pages in this notebook um, I'm going to actually erase and wash off these pages so I can start doing stuff for my respiratory module but before I do that as you can see here there's a scanning code that you use with an app that will just upload all of these notes directly into whatever file folder online that you have which is really good so you can always keep your notes and you don't have to um, waste paper and have all this paper lugging around you this is the pen and it literally just erases okay so we'll erase this marker here Okay, so that was my notebook and how I take notes. And then the last part of my study plan is using um, cue banks. It's important to use question banks because um, it gauges your learning. It also prepares you for like timing yourself on the actual exam and actual boards. And also they say that people who see more questions before their board exam have higher board scores. And I wanna be one of those people. Um, they recommend like 10 to 20,000 questions to be seen before um, sitting for your board exam, which is a lot. But if you start now, it won't seem as daunting. Um, yeah, so currently I'm using ComQuest QBank, um, which is more like the Comlex um, exam. So I'm seeing a lot of buzzwords and it really helps me with my understanding and um, just seeing things that I don't know. Um, and then there's USMLE RX, which is made by the creators of First Aid, which is the step one Bible. Um, those questions are a little bit more tricky. There's not like really buzzwords to really help you and aid you into like picking the right answer or really knowing exactly, exactly what they're talking about. So it's good to see two different kinds of questions. So I honestly also forgot about one more vital study tool that I used in first, I mean in uh, second year, and that is Pathoma. Pathoma is a video resource that will basically break down every single disease um, in such a nicely... Um, clarified way and also comes with a workbook which where is my workbook hold on it comes with this workbook that you can use while you're um, studying along with the video that you're watching and Pathoma also is broken down into uh, systems as well so here's the respiratory system They have a lot of pictures and stuff like that. So it's just all the pathology of like all of this stuff, which is cool. But yeah, that is really a comprehensive look at all of the resources I'll be using for second year and second year and into boards most likely. So yeah, I'll try to link all of these resources in the video so that you can click around, take a look, see some reviews for yourself, and get studying. I'm gonna go back to studying now. I love this robe, by the way. It's from my friend's wedding. I was the maid of honor. It's so comfy. But anyway, let me go back to studying.